everyone, it's the Final Cut. Mark the Movie Man here. Today we are taking a look at the comedy based off of the TV show of the same name. Why, of course, I'm talking about Baywatch. Brought to us by director Seth Gordon, giving us the story of Mitch Buchanan who was played by David Hasselhoff in the TV series, now played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And we see how he leads a group of L.A. lifeguards who help save lives on the beach as well as solve crimes that the police are either unaware of or unable to do so. Well, this group kind of gets thrown into turmoil when they have some new recruits come on board, namely Matt Brody, played by Zac Efron, who has his own ideas of what a lifeguard life should be compared to what this crew does. But they have to put their uh, differences aside to help solve a nefarious crime that is being committed on the beaches involving drugs, real estate, and a business lady who is up to no good. Baywatch! This is my cat. That's Jody. And like Jody, I think the writers of Baywatch just didn't give a flying leap about what the origins of Baywatch was. Now, yes, the show was a cheesy show, but it had a good spirit, and it was a lot of fun, and this film wasn't, and it's mainly due to the script. Now, the cast, I thought, did the best they could with the roles they're given and the roles they're in. Uh, I thought, I, I like this entire cast from, uh, you know, Alexandra Daddario to uh, Kelly uh, Rochbach to uh, John ba Bass in here. Uh, all of them uh, did, you know, they were played their roles fairly well, but the script they were given was awful, and also the editing. The editing in here was rather sloppy, to the point where you notice it for a big screen film like this, it shouldn't have been like that, but uh, it was very distracting. Now, most of the jokes fell flat, and like my cat here, who likes licking himself a lot, we're vulgar for the sake of being vulgar and disgusting. There's a lot of penis jokes, which I don't have mind with if they're good ones, but this one, yeah, there's a dead Dead Man's Penis on here who gets more screen time than some of the smaller roles in this film by named actors and actresses. So, you know, I don't know what they were trying to go for, it, but it felt a bit mean-spirited towards the original. It had glimpses in here, maybe, of the original. I liked that. But when they did some of the vulgar jokes and the exploitive jokes and that, the crew even seemed a little uncomfortable with those scenes. So, in the end, you just get this film that I'm sure some some people will find funny, but for me, it fell flat for most of the jokes. I think I laughed maybe once or twice, and I saw a lot of potential here for this film to be a really cool film and maybe wipe away the slate of the cheesy show and make something of a serious, fun action film, and instead, it doesn't do any of that, and all we get is Zac Efron's abs. So... I'd rather watch this uh, than watch Baywatch again. Uh, but that's just me. I'm not just hating the hate on it. It just didn't hit with me. And So take that as you will. Thank you so much for watching my review here today. Please subscribe if you haven't down below. I appreciate your support. And until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.